Hey guys, it's Zach here, and today we're checking out another Eureka Blu-ray release featuring a Golden Harvest Kung Fu production, The Shaolin Plot. Originally released in 1977, The Shaolin Plot is directed by Huang Feng and produced by Raymond Chow. It boasts a solid cast as well, starring James Tian, Chen Sing, and Guan Shan. On top of that, there are several great side character appearances from Casanova Wong, Sammo Hung, and my personal favorite, Cam Kong. The film brings another solid Shaolin story, backed by some great choreography and creative fight sequences, even boasting some cheesy special effects and gory goodness. Today, we have a Region B Blu-ray release from Eureka Entertainment to check out, packed with supplements on and off disc. But before we get to unboxing our physical copy, let's talk a bit about the film itself. Manchurian Prince Dagalun, played by Chen Sing, seeks to learn and collect all forms of martial arts from across China. He's building a collection of manuals from every school, retrieving the generational texts by any means necessary. Most schools surrender their manuals without conflict, but others fight on with honor, including the Wudang School and the Shaolin Temple. In order to retrieve the last pieces for his collection, Prince Dagalun sends out his right-hand man, played by Guan Shan, alongside a sort of inquisitor monk played by Sammo Hung, who, by the way, looks absolutely hilarious here, despite being one of the most ruthless characters in the film. We are soon introduced to our lead hero for the story, played by James Tian. A descendant of the Wudang school, he flees the Manchurian forces and attempts to save his family's manuals. As fate would have it, he runs right into an elusive and severed member of the Shaolin Temple, an exiled monk played by Cam Kong. Together, they face the prosecution of the guard and must work to uncover the looming plot that threatens the final school of Shaolin Temple, while seeking vengeance for those who have fallen in the violent and gruesome path of Prince Dagolun. Overall, the Shaolin plot is a Golden Harvest film that brings a darker tone and feel without pushing the signature comedy that we've come to expect from the studio. It has a basic but engaging story, backed by tons of fights and a tinge of camp. It's violent, bloody, dour, and even gory at times, while feeling very grounded, well, outside of maybe one or two characters. James Tian as the hero and Chen Sing as the villain were pretty fun, but the true highlights here are the side characters. Sammo Hung as the wacky inquisitor with boomerang symbol blades is a fun mix of dark comedy and undiscerning evil. If his looks don't kill you first, his over-the-top weaponry will. Another great highlight is Casanova Wong as one of the abbot's guards. While he doesn't have much in the way of dialogue, his Golden Harvest debut stands out in the choreography department with his insane whirlwind-like kicks and slick fighting. My favorite appearance in the Shaolin plot, however, is by Cam Kong as the exiled monk. The dude is staggeringly tall and a great fighter on screen. He's also the calmest and most rational character in the entire story, as well as one of the best combatants. As a whole, the Shaolin plot may not wow everyone, but the intriguing cast of characters and beautiful choreography is more than enough to hold up the story and tie it all together for me. I still found myself invested in what was going on, even if the tale is yet another notch in the hundreds of Shaolin flicks. Check it out for yourself, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until then, we have a physical release of the film on Blu-ray from Eureka Entertainment to check out. So let's head on over and unbox our copy. Here we are with Eureka Entertainment's limited edition Blu-ray release of the Shaolin Plot. It comes in a sleek slipcover, featuring another newly commissioned artwork piece from Darren Wheeling. All of the release information is included on the back, and underneath we'll find our clear Blu-ray case. If we open it up, there's a single Region B Blu-ray disc on the right, as well as a first printing paper booklet tucked in here on the left. The booklet runs 28 pages long cover to cover, and includes an article by film critic, historian, and maker James Oliver. He writes about all aspects of the film, from the production itself to the story, choreography, and more. I always enjoy what Oliver has to add with his post-watch articles. Putting the booklet aside, we can lastly note that the sleeve for our Blu-ray case is, of course, reversible, featuring an original poster work for the film on the opposite side. With that, however, we've completed our look at the physical aspects of this release, so let's head on over and check out what all is included on the disc. 
Eureka presents the Shaolin plot with a brand new 2K restoration. Alongside the film itself are several audio track options, including the original Mandarin mono audio and the optional English dubbed audio. For those rewatches, we also get two bonus commentary tracks, one featuring Asian film experts Frank Jang and Michael Wirth, and another featuring action cinema experts Mike Leader and Arna Venema. Both of these pairings always make great conversations when it comes to their commentary tracks, so fans of the film will definitely want to check these out. With the feature presentation aside, we have a small handful of video bonus features to round out the release. Eureka includes an original Hong Kong theatrical trailer for the film, as well as an original English export trailer. This, however, completes the release, as it seems this time we have a much smaller amount of bonuses than usual. I was a bit disappointed, but at least the inclusions we do have are solid. I do understand it can be hard to find things when it comes to researching the films, and these being from Hong Kong makes it that much harder to get information and behind-the-scenes footage. The film itself looks absolutely stunning on screen, so the restoration work alone stands out enough to make this a worthy release. I'm curious to know your thoughts and opinions on the release overall, however. Are you okay with the smaller amount of on-disc supplements, or were you hoping for more when it comes to these Golden Harvest catalog releases? Either way, let me know down below, and until then, thanks so much for joining me here once more on Pajama Theater. Like this video and subscribe to support the channel, and join me on Twitter and Instagram at Pajama Theater for updates and Blu-ray collection posts. As always, thanks again, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.